Now we are going to discuss. We are going to discuss the elevation. Elevation drawing means this is a top view. The top view mm -hmm. plan we have now. So I want to draw front view or side view. So this is called elevation. It can be any angle. Okay. So we are going to draw that elevation. So the concept of this one is it can be uh, may building or it can be mechanical objects, whatever it is. All concept are same. I'll show you a simple example. Okay. A small object, just imagine this is a drinking glass. From the top view, if you see a drinking glass, it comes like this, right? This is the inner circle in, inside and this is the outer circle from the top view. If you want to draw this one, what we're going to draw, do, we will be drawing a line from here first. Okay, just to get this intersection, straight one down, straight one line like this. And how much is this angle with this distance? We will be getting that. This is the distance, right? And we draw. We should know the height. This is common. We should know the height. Then from here to here, I'm drawing a line, and here to here, I'm drawing a line, because inside we are connecting over here. Now here, once I finish this one, I can trim it here, here, here. This, 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 this. Even I delete this. And when I delete this, this one, this one I delete. Now, to get a perspective view, this is not part of elevation actually, this is the side view actually. If you want to get a perspective view, you can take from here to end, end and end of shapes. This is the elevation. So what I do it, I extended the line from wherever I want. So I got same, it was a circle from maybe from, it was a circle here, the same dimension, I got elevation. This is the concept of elevation drawing. You understand much better on, on this one now. If you want to, you have, you got a top view like this. I want to draw a front view of this building. How can I draw? This is in centimeter, this units, I have already done it in centimeter, centimeter. So the first job here, we're gonna take a line Just listen carefully. The first time I show you the method, how it is, that's all. Now from here, just offset of uh, 50 centimeters. So this is, uh, take it to offset of 200 centimeter. I want to start from here. That's all, starting from a 200 centimeter gap, I kept it. Now offset of 45 centimeter, we have to do up. This will be our foundation, foundation of the building. Now from here, if I'm extending a line from this border, just imagine that you're looking from here to this side. So what will be visible after from here? The next cut is coming over here. Wherever is the next cut come that you're going to extend it. Here is the next one. And then next here is the inside. This all divisions won't be visible from the outside. And 45 is this offset. Then offset of 300 is the 300 centimeter is the wall height offset of Offset of 10 centimeter, you know, some offset of 10 centimeters it's called parapet. If you know, belongs to, if you belongs to uh, architectural, you will understand parapet, it will extend to outside. Then offset of 45 centimeter, this is we going to do it up. Maybe bricks, we going to keep it up. It's all our styles. Now, once I do this one, I'm going to trim it. What are the dimensions I used? I will give to you this file, then you understand, and I will show you in the dimension also. After this, what I did it again, remember from here, I'm seeing to this side, this is the outer extended. Here I extended, here I extended, here I extend. Why I have done here? Because there is a cut comes. If there is a cut comes like this, we will extend. So with this one, we have done. Now trim tool from the top, we delete. Okay. And this one, we delete. This one, we delete. Now again, offset of a 45 cent, sorry, offset of 30 centimeter. We're going to extend to outside and outside. Then I'm going to trim it here, trim it here, this one, this one. Now you might got an idea what I have done it. This one we're going to cut. But this one should not cut because if you intersect it like center, this one we have to cut it. This one we have to cut it because the parapet only visible. But when you reach here with this cut have to be visible because if you see a cut, a, a line across this one, that means there is a cut inside or outside. Okay, that's why this line we should not cut. This one we have to cut it because it's the border. 
that. Now we got the view. Now we need what, what will be visible from here window. So I'm just going to connect over here, extend it. I don't know the dimensions. I'm just doing one thing only. I'm just extending. Okay. So one more thing you can do, the height of this doors and windows you decide. For example, offset is uh, 210 centimeter is the height. Okay. I kept it. This is for doors, windows, all will be same. So door comes over here. I'm going to extend to up, extend to up. Here is a window, here is a window, here is a window. Here is a window. Trim tool. Okay. Now, offset off for the window, this value will be giving to you from uh, the how much will be uh, uh, the, the height of the window that you have to understand from your plan. It will mention. Then I'm giving a 120 distance now. I'm going to cut it here, here, here. Same thing here, here. little bit this one we don't want from it from it here. now this we got it I think this got a little bit more offset of 30 more yeah this is enough okay no measurement I will tell you I reduce little bit height because it's look more lengthy so remember the height of this door and uh, the height of the window and door height will be same, okay? Because there is a beam goes like this. There is exception case. Sometimes it goes step by step and all, or maybe up and down. So beam also will be going like that. Once you do this, use J. J is for joining tool, right? J and the joining tool. Select all, this all, including this, enter. That means this all join now. Now you take offset off. I took uh, offset of uh, three centimeter. I kept inside. Inside for the border frame and draw a line. This is a two window. And this is also two, two door. Okay. Now, if you want any designs up and all you can, uh, or if you want to show uh, the slope, the building on the roof, even you can try this way, or we make some design. This all are depends on the design. We create different, different style. For example, I just show you something. At this, then take mirror of this all line. Enter. I'm trying to. This is not exactly middle, so there will be an extension outside. No problem. Straight up. Enter. And this one you have to do it manually. Some extension. You have seen this Arabic uh, house and or they make some designs like this on the front. It's an option. After that, you can use your hatch and all hatch, and you see that uh, what are the hatch elements you want to put. For time being, easy for to us to understand. I'm giving uh, hatch bricks now. I'm giving this one to a little bit bigger. Okay, 
do it separate 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 why means otherwise you won't be able to control it together one finish again take it again do it don't do it together this will be one of the mistakes we will be doing and scale all we're doing separate separate this three if you want i can make it two little bit smaller because it feel is inside and this uh, transparency little bit less so it will be feel like little bit darker so at least you can understand it's inside okay if it is outside we want to show you can make this both little bit down and everywhere you can do your own um, elements what you want uh, textures i mean the pattern for example i do the grass this we do it see when i do this together it's together this is okay here there is no problem so this way we going to do designs and all and if you want you can put uh, gradient colors and all if you want to do it for the glass gradient color yes use it some light colors and dark colors and make it transparency so when you click it okay just do it separate separate this also so you can control it separate when you finish escape again space 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 once you finish it you can move it from here anywhere this is the elevation we have done and we going to keep a line you want to press and press control 2 for the design center i uh, hope you remember in in design center sample the ngs design center there was landscaping and we try some elements I have a car over here I have a tree over here this is just to show the understand the proportion enough some elements we took so you can show <coughs> so you can keep it if it is the road whatever so at least just to get a view from there to get a view we can make a landscape and give to our customer even if you don't like to give textures without textures can be give it's fine and you can change the colors and all for this you can see that uh, colors you can play with a lot of other settings to make it beautiful this is the concept of elevation so elevation will be drawing like this just extend from outside here 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 after that once you finish it total height uh, distance and all you do it after this uh, extend from here window doors that's all i'll show you the measurement how much i've taken for you i use 45 i use this 300 cm and i use this one 10 cm you know if you want to take this all together there is an option once you finish it make one one dimensions from here to here then click on continuous then after that select the here you go into click here it automatically comes all same alignment so you understand all so we got all the dimensions and for this one i want i want to know how much i have taken this one i manually adjusted so there will be difference from here 130 and uh, total height Two ten, two ten, and for this one, eighty. This is two ten, obviously. Width we don't need because width we are extending from here. If you want, you can take a photo of this one to understand the dimensions. Uh, and the one more thing, sorry. From here to here, thirty, thirty centimeter. same thing here to here also for 30 cm perfect the mining all are fine yeah these are the dimensions you can take a screenshot or you can take a photograph from your mobile where you can use when when you can use it this dimensions while work yeah okay so this is one of the chapter how to draw 
elevation drawing. I will stop it. Uh,